Hello everyone. So, another video today. I got a comment requesting for different muzzle types, so I will try to do that now. So, I'm going to do let's say 4 today. So, we'll just do four small circles. Okay. So the first one is going to be a cat. So I'm going to just do a short line. And we're going to just do a box for now. We'll add more detail in a minute. Once we got our short box, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to do an ear. Very undetailed one, just a bit of fluff, and an eye. Okay, so this is a side view muzzle, and I can do it in different views if you want. The side view is just to show like most of how long it goes. So I'm gonna go over this again, doing a little curve indent right here for where the mouth is gonna be. So yeah, there we go. Just a short little cat muzzle. And then let's do a let's do a dog muzzle now. So this is just how I think how I do a dog muzzle. So we're gonna do just a longer box. And of course, this is like a lab or something. A dog with a big muzzle. This looks a bit like a fox's muzzle, so we're gonna make it a bit thicker. We're gonna just do a bit of fur. Ear. Now for the dog muzzle, it's just longer. You have it more, it's wider as well. And then it's also just different features. Oops. Okay, so now let's do a fox muzzle. So the difference between a dog and a fox muzzle is that it's going to be thinner and maybe a bit longer. So that does not look natural. <laughs> so you need to make it short enough that it looks natural and thick enough that it looks natural, but you also need to incorporate the different animals, uh, different animals traits. So I'm gonna do that by adding uh, what I like to do for a fox ear, more fluff. And then just the eye is gonna be facing that way just to make it trying to avoid eye contact. And now we're just gonna go over the muzzle, do the little indent right there. And then go curve back out. Not that much, but curve back out for the rest of the muzzle. And then I'm going to do a nose like the dog's nose. And I'm gonna just do a expression. And then for a fox, we'll just go like this. We'll do a line out. And then we'll go like that. So you can do it like that. Or for a bit more detail, you can do it like this, but that looks more like a badger. I like doing it like this. And then you, of course, do a little triangle next to the nose for the little marking that foxes have. So we got cat right here. Yeah, we got a dog. <laughs> That's a horrible dog. Uh, we've got a fox. 
Now what should we do here? We can do a bear. So I don't draw bears very often, but I'm just gonna try. We're gonna do it short, like the cat's muzzle, but also chunkier. So that's, that looks good. Okay, then we'll do the indent, the big old bear nose, big old bear nose. He's gonna not be happy right now. And then for a bear, you can do no fluff at all or just like a little bit of fluff. And then, oops, that looks like Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna curve up here real quick. And then just a cute little bear ear. There you have it, folks. That's just a like rough thing of like how the different muzzles work almost. Like, so for a bear, it'll be thicker, but also not as long. For a cat, it'll be short, but thinner than a bear's is. A lot, or pff, wrong area thinner than a bear's is, at least by a tad bit. For a dog, it'll be shortish and not too thick, but thicker than a cat's. For foxes, it won't be that thick, but it'll be longer than a dog's. And there you have it. And yeah, comment down below what animals I should do or if you are more interested in the next video I'm going to post, then comment down below about that. But I'm keeping it secret right now, even though you're going to see the video in a few minutes. Okay, see you guys. Thanks for watching.